prayer intention for the month of April for a culture of peace and nonviolence. We pray for the spread of peace and nonviolence by decreasing the use of weapons by states and citizens. Peace is an essential and fundamental aspect of our human life, without which progress and order in our societies shall be hindered. This is because it is geared towards the supreme good of humanity, and for that reason, it is a dominant force in human affairs. It also presupposes that it is very human and is rooted in a sincere feeling for our fellow human beings, a feeling which amounts to a true respect. Are we treating everyone we meet with respect? This calls for a growth of consciousness of justice, a dynamic justice, and not static justice. This sense of justice is the foundation for peace. But this justice usually comes at a cost because it always demands some level of personal sacrifice, a sacrifice of prestige and of self-interest. How can we better work for relationships that are more just, not simply in our society, but in our families and among our friends. Another aspect of peace worth mentioning is the proliferation of small arms, light weapons, and nuclear weapons, which have contributed immensely to violence in the world. How then do we de-weaponize our society of arms to facilitate peace and non-violence? The possession and ownership of weapons and arms must be the sole privilege of authorized persons within legal framework of countries and states. On the other hand, the ease of possessing weapons and arms in, is only one of the many factors responsible for violence in contemporary times. Since peace is not just the absence of war, but also the state of the living conditions of people, individuals, must have an inner satisfaction, contentment, as well as wellness. Ensuring peace and non-violence involves a collective effort. It also begins with individuals and their determination to create an environment of serenity and tranquility. The use of dialogue, for instance, with the people we know and meet on daily basis can go a long way towards uplifting our societies. Also, the preaching of the gospel of love to citizens can also be instrument in building an atmosphere of peace and non-violence. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.